Hi guys, so today let's start with the first lecture for IGCSE AS Levels Integration. So in first lecture what we will be covering is about indefinite integrals. There are two types of integrals, one is definite and one is indefinite. What is the difference between both? So first of all, in indefinite integral, you don't have limits. The lower limit and upper limit are not there for any integral. <coughs> Secondly, whenever you solve any indefinite integral, you end up by placing a plus C sign, which means this is constant of integration. Okay? So there are two formulas to start with. First one, integral x to the power n with respect to dx will give you x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c. c is constant of integration and whenever you solve any indefinite integral it's compulsory that you have to put plus c sign at the end. Okay, now let's move to the another formula. Integral ax plus b. For example, you are having any term in this form ax plus b that means 2x plus 3 maybe to the power n is integrated with respect to dx then what you will have is ax plus b to the power n plus 1 you will add power in the add power by 1 in the in power of this part ax plus b and then you will divide it with the same part n plus 1 but here there's a catch you also have to multiply in the denominator with the coefficient of x coefficient of x is a and multiply with that and then you put plus c sign that is constant of integration plus constant of integration only exists in indefinite integration and not in definite integration we'll cover types of definite integration later now let's first start with few examples on both of these types we'll do one and one example on this and one on this so let's begin okay so this will be our first example on indefinite integration so the question given is integration of 3x square plus 2x plus 1 with respect to dx that is with respect to the x variable okay now how do we start so first of all let's see how many terms are here there are three terms 3x square is one term second term is 2x and the third term is 1 so let's distribute the integral sign and dx between all these terms so integral 3x square dx plus integral 2x dx plus integral 1 dx okay now 3x square dx plus integral 2x dx plus integral 1 dx this is what is this is what I am having right now so now the next step is to keep the constant outside the integral sign so in first term the constant is 3 and my variable is x square so I will keep 3 outside and inside the integral sign I will have x square dx plus I will keep 2 outside from the second term and keep x dx inside plus 1 is the only thing over here so write it as it is 1 dx ok now keep 3 as it is what will happen to x square dx integral so we will add 1 to the power that becomes x cube divided by 3 ok so this is by formula x to the power n dx is equal to x to the power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus c. We will put plus c at the end. Okay. So after this for the second term 2 x squared by 2 we have added 1 in the power and divided by the power. Okay. Now plus 1 dx will always give you x and the last part plus c constant of integration don't forget about it during indefinite integration now let's cancel out what can be cancelled 3 and 3 2 and 2 that's it so what are we left with x cube plus x square plus x plus c so this is the solution for this question okay so this is how it has to be done have a look of it you can note it down let's move to the next question so let's begin with another example. So this example will be of the type ax plus b to the power, power n. So this is the second formula which I told you before. So this is the question integral 3 2x minus 4 to the power 5 integrating with respect to 
x that is dx okay now what do we, what will be our first step we'll keep p outside the integral sign and what is left inside is 2x minus 4 to the power 5 dx okay now by formula by formula it is of the type ax plus b to the power n dx and how do you integrate this type so ax plus b to the power n you add 1 in the power and then you divide with the new power that is n plus 1 after that you have to multiply with coefficient of x that is a so plus c okay applying that formula over here you will have 3 integral sign will go since we are integrating now ok now you will, you will be left with 2x minus 4 you will add 1 in the power that that's why power becomes 6 divided by 6 into what is coefficient of x? it's 2 so you have to multiply by 2 in the denominator and plus c plus c is constant of integration in indefinite integration you have to always put plus c ok in the solution part can we simplify this solution further uh, if we see carefully we can cancel out 3 and 6 so let's do it you will have to put 2 into 2 4 so that is 2x minus 4 6 divided by 4 plus c so this is your solution for the given question so in the next lecture we will be solving examples like these on definite integration Okay, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and like our video. Okay, share it with your friends. Thank you so much.